Well, greetings to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ at C-Suite for Christ. It is great to come to you today. And as I do so, I just want to offer you greetings and blessings to you. I know we continue to go through uh, such a time as this, and uh, we're not sure exactly uh, when that ends and how it ends and what that process is going to look like. But as we journey through this together, we are together. Uh, I'm excited for our next gathering on April 22nd so that we can continue to encourage one another and pray for one another and be a blessing to one another. And at this next time, we're going to have a message that talks about how we traverse through landmines, struggles, difficulties that aren't of our own creation, but can be at the creation of others and just the creation of life around us. And how do we traverse that so that we might end up where God wants us to end up? But today I want to offer you some uh, encouragement, uh, you know, just a brief message in the words of Jesus from Matthew chapter 6. Jesus says this, Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to the span of his life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Jesus speaking here uh, begins right away by saying, do not be anxious about your life. And then continues to talk about this anxiety, and some of us feel that anxiety uh, right now. We feel anxious about many different things. In fact, what anxiety is, and in some ways, agree, as Scripture might describe it and, and declare it, is that we're overly concerned about things that we ought not to be overly concerned about. In fact, when we understand that word that Jesus uses in the Greek, he is talking about that, that we care about things that maybe aren't as important as the value we place on them. That's why Jesus, as he speaks, uh, he says this, as he talks about the things that we eat and the things we drink, and the things we wear, he says, are you not of more value than they? Aren't you more valuable? Do you care about things that have lesser value more than you care about the things that have a greater value? Or do you care about things of lesser value in not understanding how much value God places upon you? You are God's treasured possession. You are are purchased with the blood of Jesus Christ. And if Jesus purchased you with his blood, that's how valuable you are. Paid for with the most invaluable thing ever, the blood of Jesus. And so he goes through all these things. He says, says, don't concern yourself with them. You pray for your daily bread. Why do you continue to worry about more than that? I will provide for you. I will care for you. I love you. You are mine. And then at the end he says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you as well. I have a study Bible I use for whenever I prepare messages, and in the study Bible, uh, at the very bottom of this section of Mark, or of Matthew, as he says, therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day are its own troubles. I have this written. It says, don't look ahead. God's mercies for today are sufficient for today's troubles. He will give you new mercies in the morning for tomorrow's troubles. Do not impose tomorrow's trouble on today's mercy. It's a reminder to me. So often I worry about tomorrow, not realizing that God has enough mercy for me tomorrow, and he's given me enough mercy for today. 
So don't be anxious about tomorrow. When God will supply tomorrow's mercies tomorrow as he supplies today's mercies today. May God grant you that discernment, that peace, and that freedom from anxiety that you might know the mercies of God today. I look forward to seeing you on April 22nd as uh, we join in a, a Zoom call together so that we might continue to encourage one another, but also that we might be reminded of the God who leads us through the highs and the lows, the mountaintops and the valleys, not being anxious, but trusting in the one who is there with us always. In Jesus' name, God's blessings and peace. Talk to you soon.